Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the simplest Python bots that you can use to automate really simple tasks. We're not gonna get into like Selenium and stuff like that, something way too advanced. We're just gonna cover this really simple topic of clicking stuff and using the keyboard. So let's get into the code. I have three files that I wanna show you right here, but the first thing is what we're gonna do is we're gonna explain everything. So you might need to run pip install these modules. Some of these are necessary to install, some of these are not. You can just try to install all of them and that should work. I'm not gonna get into how to do this because that's really simple. I'm using Python 3.10 but I think you can use any version of Python. Next up we have the while statement that is checking if the Q button is pressed. If it is not pressed it's gonna do what we are asking it to do. If it is pressed then it will stop doing what it was doing. So this function positions the mouse at a specific place on the screen and does stuff. Now how do I determine these pixels? We're gonna get into that in a second. Let me just explain to you what is going on. So this function takes in X and Y which is these right here and we're going to determine them in a second and then we have the win32 API dot set cursor to the position so essentially what we're doing is we're gonna pick out the position that we want to let's say uh, right here at the help these commands right here that I'm gonna show you later are gonna tell us what the X and Y are and they're gonna look something like this so then you're gonna forward this into this function and then right here you're gonna position the mouse where it is and then you're gonna click it and you're gonna wait for 0.001 second and then you're gonna let the mouse go essentially what this means you're gonna click here and it's gonna hold it until we release so this is gonna be our release now let me show you how we're gonna find the X and the Y that we're looking for so we just import the pi auto GUI as well as pill and pill is going to be used for visual stuff but in this case we don't really need it so you can just import pi auto GUI and then once you import it you can just run pi auto GUI display mouse position and press enter and as you can see now as I move the mouse it's gonna show me the position and the RGB that we're looking for now if I put it on the red as you can see it's gonna be a different RGB if I put it on the green it's gonna be a different RGB so let's say that we want to place the mouse right at the help button right here and this is our X and the Y and if I don't move the mouse you'll see that it stays the same so it's 1 1 35 and 2 1 7 now I'm gonna stop this and we're actually gonna write this down so 1 1 35 and 2 1 7 so now if I run this, it's gonna make sure that it places the mouse to this position and clicks and then it's gonna open this, right? So this should essentially work if I don't move this window. I usually can do this with the browser if it's full screen, it's way easier. So let's just run this and as you can see, it's gonna run in Python 10. And as you can see, it's trying to click the help but it also opened the about title because it seems that it clicked something automatically when I was moving the mouse. So this is fine. And now in order to stop this, we can press Q and as you can see, it has stopped. If it doesn't work, just press Control and C. Essentially click this and accidentally click that so this worked okay so now you're probably wondering how do I hold the key keep holding it well you can just replace the timeout you could also do something like this if we're gonna use the keyboard you can also use the mouse event as you can see right here and we're gonna use pi auto GUI and then key up and key down key down is when you press the key and key up is when you release the key and the key that we're gonna press is K so if I run this it's gonna say mining uh, because I was doing something from before just ignore the statement So if I run this, it's gonna keep pressing K. And as you can see, it's pressing K constantly. So you can put F5 or something like that to refreshing the website and stuff like that. So anyways, we're gonna stop this. Uh, Q doesn't work here because it didn't implement this, as you can see. And then we're gonna just close this. And now I just want to show you one last thing. So right here I'm going to show you a practical use for the first code. I'm going to navigate to this website right here. It's a cookie clicker game. So basically what the game does is you click the cookie and then you get the points for this. It, it makes really no sense. It's just a random game and you can click as much as you want. But I'm thinking maybe we can get some kind of a high score with this because it's really simple. So we're going to use the same script that we used before and we have to determine what the X and the Y of the cookie was. And then you, you can use this or you can use the colors if you want to use the pill library and stuff like that. But for this we don't really need the colors and we're not gonna concentrate on that right now for that I can make a different tutorial if you want to so anyways let's determine X and the Y so in the shell we're gonna do the same thing that we did before again I accidentally imported a pill we don't really need this and as you can see it's working so let's see where the X and Y is gonna be let's put it right in the middle so we don't make mistakes or anything like that and as you can see the 279 and 546 so 297 and 546 as you can see it's RGB is loading so you can maybe try doing it like that too but for now we're just gonna skip this so now that we have our X and the Y we're gonna place our mouse there and we're gonna click it as many times as we can so now I can just leave this to go offline and I've put time to sleep on purpose just so you guys know what's going on and I want to click it and now I want to wait and as you can see it's clicking it but now it's sleeping for five seconds I did this on purpose because I wanted to show you guys how it works so if I remove the sleep 
since it's in a while loop is gonna keep executing so if I run this as you can see now it's working perfectly and we automated this really easily this was the oversimplified example of automation so if you want more videos like this I've done work with selenium and react native and we can maybe make QA testing videos we can make automation videos and stuff like that so make sure to let me know in the comments and if you have any questions make sure you ask them I always answer them really quick thank you so much for watching and have a nice day